In a small village carved out of the landscape of ancient Japan, nestled quietly under the expansive starlit sky, lived an old master known far and wide for his wisdom and serenity. This story unfolds on a night when the moon shone bright and full, casting a luminous glow over everything it touched. One night, as the master was immersed in his meditation, a faint rustling sound whispered through the stillness of his modest quarters. It was a thief who, under the cloak of darkness, had slipped silently into the master's room. The thief had heard of the master's reputed wisdom, but was more interested in any hidden treasures he might find. He searched thoroughly, growing increasingly frustrated as he found nothing of material value, no gold, no jewels, nothing but the bare essentials for a simple, contemplative life. As the thief turned to leave, empty-handed and disappointed, the master opened his eyes calmly and spoke in a voice as clear as the cool night air. Friend, you may have ventured far to explore my humble abode. Please do not leave so disillusioned. Take something, lest your journey here be in vain. But let me offer you what I can. Take the beauty of the moon outside. Its serene light fills our hearts, yet it can never be stolen. The thief was taken aback. There, in the master's words, lay a profound teaching. He left as quietly as he had entered, and as he stepped back into the cool night, he looked up at the moon. For the first time, he truly saw it, vast, unreachable, and free. From that night on, the story of the master and the unstealable moon spread through the village. It was a tale of enlightenment, a lesson in the futility of clinging to material possessions when the true treasures of this world, like the beauty of the moon, are not things to be taken or owned, but simply experienced and appreciated. True peace, the Master taught, comes not from what we gather and hold on to, but from what we let go. Like the moon, the most profound beauties of life are those we cannot possess, those that remind us that freedom and peace are found in the simplicity of non-attachment.